Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. So here is the four guided to nuggets for your Windows PC and it also supports Mac OS. But this guide is specially for Windows users. You can see we are at the official GitHub page for Nugget. Nugget is completely free and you can use it to customize or tweak your device without a jailbreak. You can see the list of features on its official GitHub page. Also, please note that this guide is specially for educational or research purposes. So please use it responsibly. You can use it on iOS 17.0 all the way through the latest version for iOS 18. And if it supports any further version, I will mention that in the description so you can look for it. Also, it is highly recommended that you please back up all data on your device before using this because if in case anything goes wrong, you can always restore your backup. Also, before using Nugget, please make sure you go to settings and if you find my iPhone, or find my iPad is on, please turn it off. But after you apply customizations or tweaks, you can safely turn it back on. After getting to its official GitHub page, you can see we have the latest release. At the time of making this video, it is version 4.0. So please hit it, scroll down, and from there you can get the Windows release. Simply get it to your computer first. You can see I already got the Nugget Windows zip file. So now you can simply right click and extract all so that you get this Nugget underscore windows folder right here. Now talking about the requirements, you can simply scroll down and see that you require Python. Python is already built into Nugget. So I have tested it and it works fine. But in case for some users, they are getting errors. What you can do is you can simply get to the official website for Python. You can see it is completely free and you can get it for Windows. And you can see I already got it. You can simply open it and then install it. Before you hit install now, make sure that you check add python.exe to path. This is very important. Also check the use admin privileges when installing python py.exe. All right, then hit install now. And wait for the process to finish. All right, once completed, you will see setup was successful. You can simply close out of it. The next big thing is iTunes. So you can simply get to the Nuggets official GitHub page and you will see the official link to iTunes from the Apple's website so that you make Nugget detect your device. So you can get it from here. You will simply get to the official page and then hit download and then install iTunes. You can see I already got iTunes and I already installed it before making this video to save you time. The next requirement is this file, this playlist file. Now I will show you how you can get it from your device. So it is device specific. Before I show you how you can get this file from your device, you can see my device is an iPhone 12 which is indeed on iOS 18.1 final version. Now on your device, make sure it is connected to Wi-Fi and then open Safari and head to the official GitHub page for Nugget. When you scroll down, you will see this shortcut right here. Simply hit it and then hit add shortcut. You will see this shortcut, open it, then hit allow. Then simply select a location and then hit open. You can now open files and verify that the file is indeed saved. Now the easiest method to save it to your computer is using iZip and then iTunes. So you can simply head to App Store, get iZip, it is completely free. Then open it once, close it. Then open the files app, then simply press and hold, then hit move then select iZip from here and then hit move. This will move the file to the iZip folder. Now via USB connect to your device and then open iTunes. Select your device and then hit file sharing. Then hit iZip and you will find the file you just moved. Simply select it, then hit save, hit select folder. And this will save the file to your computer. 
Now finally open Nugget. Simply go to the folder and open it. All right, as you can see, Nugget is now open and I have connected my device via USB and you can see the version here, iOS 18.1. You can see the bell here and to apply customizations and the tweaks, you can simply select this option. And for example, I will enable charge limit. I will scroll down and enable always on display on this device. And I would like to enable dynamic island. So I will select it from here. You can select more features or tweaks or customizations as per your liking from here. In eligibility, you can see that you can enable Apple intelligence. In springboard options, you can have more options or features you can enable. And in internal options, there are more features or tweaks you can enable from here. In settings, you can see you can enable or disable allow applying over Wi-Fi. Also make sure that skip setup is enabled and you can also disable or enable auto reboot, but I will leave it enabled also. Now to apply, go to apply, then hit choose file. From there, choose the file you just got from your device, hit open, then hit apply changes. Your device will now reboot. You will see success here. Already, as you can see, after applying the tweaks or customizations, my device is back on. You can see dynamic island is now enabled. Also, if you see a red bar or the resolution is not working, what you can do is go to this option. Then check this option, dynamic island status bar fix, and then simply go to apply and reapply to fix that issue. Also, as you can see it right here, it is the same device iPhone 12 with the same iOS version we started with. Now, if you go to settings, go to battery and you can see the charge limit is now enabled and it works fine as you can see it right here. And also, if you go to display and brightness, you can see the always on display is also on. You can turn it off or on as per your liking. When I lock my device, you can see it right here that all this own display is working just fine without any issues. Now, if you want to remove the tweaks and customizations and return your device back to stock, you can simply open Nugget, then hit apply here, then hit reset. Your device will now restart. I am back and my device is back to stock. Dynamic Island is gone. And if I go to settings, battery, the charge limit is also gone and display and brightness always on display is also gone that's all for this video guys if you want to ask something ask in the comments section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself